Hi there everybody, it's Halsey from Slim and Stylish. I'm a UK stamping up independent demonstrator. Thank you for joining me today. Today I have something a little bit different. For those of you who follow my personal blog or my personal Facebook, or probably just talk to me, <laughs> you all know that I'm a massive ice hockey fan and I support the Coventry Blaze team here in the UK. And we went to a game last night, it was really good. Uh, one all and then 13 seconds left to go and one of our little guys scored. Brilliant, fantastic. Um, I was so happy and I woke up this morning in a proper ice hockey mood and I remembered this set and him on his little skates. And I also remembered the bubble over stamp set and how you can make it into a ice hockey card. So I woke up and this is what I've put together. Isn't it cute? <laughs> I love it. And I think all my hockey friends are gonna love this for Christmas. I've used blueberry bushel because our kit is blue and I've got the jersey here, so there's the jersey and there's Blueberry Bushel. So it's not much different um, and we have a great big uh, yellow strip on the back. So that's why he's got a little, little yellow bobble on his hat. So to make this card, I use the Alphabet Labeler because even though lots of our cards say Happy Holidays, none of them say Hockey Holidays. <laughs> so I put them all together. Hockey was from the... Um, sort of just normal letters and the blacked out ones was with holidays and I used the stamper artist for that and I'll show you how I did it. For the dies, that was pretty genius. I can't remember when these first come out who it was who told me that you could use them for ice hockey but it's a brilliant idea. It's using the bubble over set and there's the dies for it but three of the dies, these ones, were straws for the bottles. And then you've got this little one, which is a cap for the bottle. That's a cap for the little bottle, actually. Um, they're great if you turn them upside down and put them across for an ice hockey stick and a puck. So that's exactly what I did. Unfortunately, I can't die cut them out for you because between my pad and my desk, I only have about this much space. So my hands kind of hit the camera pretty quick and I wouldn't be able to fit my die cutting machine in. I haven't worked out how to film that, but I have already got my little pieces cut out. So I'll just pick them up. There's my puck and there's my stick, all ready to go. So let me just explain what you need. You need a piece of A4 cardstock cut in half and scored along the center line to make a A5 tent fold card. You need a piece of blueberry bushel or whatever your team colours are, um, cut at half a centimetre less. So this is, whereas this is 10.5 centimetres, this is 10 centimetres. And whereas this is 14.8 centimetres, this is 14.3 centimetres. Inches just take a quarter of an inch off. And exactly the same for the white bit, that's half a centimetre less and another quarter of an inch less so that you can layer it up. And that's the bit we're gonna be using to start off with. So, as I said, I use the Stamparatus. You will notice now that I've been an idiot and I've ignored all of the safety um, advice that Stamplip has given and thought I can get away with not washi taping my magnets and keeping them as they come. You can't, they do crack, which this one has done. Um, it was quite dramatic actually. It just like exploded really. But yeah, washi tape them. As you'll notice, I still haven't done it, but I'm waiting for some new ones to come and they will be washi taped. The great thing about the Stamparatus here is it's on a grid. So when you line up your words, hockey holidays has gone on the line. Sorry, hockey's gone on the line and holidays has gone in the gap so that you can get some nice even spacing on that. Because I'm using a photopolymer set underneath here, I have put the glue pad so it just raises it up a bit. And then yeah, put your stamp set underneath the, the leaf so that you can get a nice bit of pressure on it with your ink pad. Okay, so I'm just gonna... And I'm really gonna push down because I noticed earlier my eye wasn't stamping properly. So uh, I'm just gonna push down on top of that. There you go. And that is so easy. I've ran about 10 of these off. So I know that my hockey holidays is in the same place in every single one. 
love my stamparatus. <laughs> so, for my little man, I've called him Ben, because the chap who scored our goal with 13 seconds left to go yesterday was a Ben. So, my snowman is Ben. Let's pink him up. Make sure he's all in. You want his little skate foot here, this one, to be the straight one. So line him up on your grid paper so he's straight. There we go. I'm sorry if I just knocked you. Isn't he cute? Okay. And then I'm just going to bring in my blends very quickly. I'm going to start with the dark Knight of Navy. Try and keep in the lines. Whenever I try and do this quick for a video, I am... Um, always outside the lines, so I'm going to try and stay in the lines. Not talking to you as well, because I, I find the more I talk in these, the more, <laughs> the more erratic my, um, colouring tends to get. I've just dotted all of his buttons on the way down because I'm going to add the gold in but before I do that I'm coming in with Bermuda Bay, the dark one. So I'm just doing all these chevrons. And the light knight of navy and I'm going to go over all of them because then it just makes my Bermuda Bay not as bright it kind of sets in with the tone I was thinking one of my friend is a Steelers fan here I'm not nowhere near a Steelers fan but they are um, orange and white so that would look quite nice because it would go the same colour as his nose. I could see that that would, that would fit quite right. Okay, blend in the hat. There we are. And then with the dark daffodil delight, I'm just going to pop a dot on all of his buttons so they gleam and a dot on his bobbles. And then in with the light daffodil delight. You know, considering blends aren't new anymore, I know we've got new colours, but blends come out ooh, earlier this year probably, right? No, it would have been earlier than that. About this time last year, would it have been? They're not new, but um, I still use them in everything. I'm going to use the Smoky Slate. forgot what colour that was. This is the light one, just to go round the corner of him, round his bubbles. It's quite easy. Wherever he's smudged, um, by smudged I mean he's got these nice little sort of dots. It's quite easy there to see where you need to put your smoky slate and I'm just going to come over it with the colour blender and just over the whole lot which just makes him a slightly dirty colour so he looks right for snow just makes him a little bit different to the background His arms, I've done those in pumpkin pie. I started off by blending the arms, but then noticed that there wasn't much difference, so I do just blend his nose. Um, you can blend his arms if you've got time to, but it's not much different because it's such a small space. And his shoes, what colours are his shoes? I did his shoes in the bronze. 
neat, aren't I? And then come over it with the crumb cake. I think this is why I like the blends. I'm not the neatest um, colouring. I, I don't think colouring is a word, but I get bored and that's when I mess up. But you don't have to be neat with the blends. It just, just does it. And then the darker smoky slate for his skates. And that is all you need to do with the blends. He's all coloured in. Okay, I'm just going to put my lid on that before I pop my hands in it. I did it earlier, can you see? <laughs> I am so messy. And then when you're working with Whisper White, I always worry that once you've got your fingers stuck in it, you're going to get all your cards messy and oh, it's a nightmare. Right, so I'm just going to pop a little bow on here. This is using the um, new in colour ribbon, which I quite like. Um, I normally like thicker ribbon than the thin ribbons, purely because I think it stands out more. So I, I try to avoid the little ribbons, but I do actually quite like this one. I think it's because it's ridged. So you know sometimes when you tie a bow and then it starts coming undone on the satin ribbons? Once you've tied it on this, it sticks. So let's just play with the bow for a bit because I can't get it right. That is the problem with it because it's a stiffer ribbon. It is harder to get it straight. But once you've got it straight, it stays, which is good. So I suppose pros and cons, but I do quite like this. And I've bought it in every single one of the new in colours colours, so you can tell I like it. And I think I very stupidly left my scissors in the bag. I actually craft at the desk behind me. Um, there's more room and I can look out the window, it's prettier. Um, and just do my videos on this one because there's more light. So it means that when I come over, I have to hope that I remember to bring everything. Just turning that because I want my ribbon straight. There we are. Glue dot, did I remember my glue dots? There they are. I'm just going to stick that down so it falls in the right place. There we are. Some Tombow. Putting a bit of Tombow on because as I've twisted the ribbon, I don't want it to come off. So. That'll flatten it down. There we go. And then again, I'm going to pop some Tombow on the back. You can use your tear and tape, um, that works. Or if you've still got some fuse left, that was on the clearance rack this week. I bought like 20, I love fast fuse. Um, I think it's gone off it now. I think they've sold out, which is a shame. I do miss it now. That's not in the catalogue. It's the one thing that I really was not happy about them retiring. Where did I put my little? Oh no! I die cut out my bits, and now I can't find them. I'm going to put you on pause while I find them. Disorganised Halsey. Two seconds. I'm back. Sorry about that. I think they're lost forever. I've just had to die cut some more. But I... The confusing thing is, is I know that I showed them to you at the start of the video. So I know I had them. But they're... Um, they are only flimsy, aren't they? And little, so... Come on. Now the Tombow's not going to work. I think things are against me today. But they are. You could also use your fine tip glue for this or one of the adhesive back sheets. If you were doing lots, that would be a great idea. I know what I forgot to do, that I meant to do. And I've done it on the other one. I just chopped the straw so it was a little bit smaller here because I felt that his hockey stick was just a bit too big. 
And I should have done that before I put it on the card. But I'm silly, so I didn't. And then if I've got a tissue. So I can remove that bit of adhesive. Just stick that down. There we go. I've got all confused now. I don't I don't know where I've lost my little pieces. You know where I bet they are? I bet they're stuck to the bottom of my slipper. That happens so much where you get fine bits stuck to the bottom of your slipper afterwards. But there you go. There is my little ice hockey card using our gorgeous snowman. What do you think? I love it. Head over to my blog for all the details and I'll see you soon. Bye.